It's bad enough that short men have a tough time in the corporate world, but what about the real world? People like Joe Mangano think that the problem boils down to a fundamental lack of respect. Tall people have rules for short people. They're not written anywhere. They're unspoken type rules. A typical rule of a taller for a shorter might be if you're walking in the opposite direction, you'd better get out of my way because if you don't, you're gonna wind up on the ground. I'm waving now, ask Robert if he sees me. In order to prove his point, Joe has designed a little experiment. Okay, good. What we're gonna try and show with the sidewalk experiment is that more often than not, the shorter man will have to move aside for those who are taller rather than vice versa. A tall man will help us out. He and Joe dress in similar attire. Each of them will carry a tiny hidden camera and take turns trying to walk against sidewalk traffic on Times Square. We'll count the collisions and see who has a harder time, the tall man or the short man. Only one collision. Will it be this easy for Joe? Every short statured individual has been bullied verbally, physically, and socially. If something as simple as walking down the street is so much more difficult for the short stature, is it any wonder that some of us compensate by being assertive? No group would tolerate the things that short statured people have to put up with. We're not trying to be Napoleon. We're just trying to survive. It's too bad, though, that short plus assertive doesn't equal attractive. <laughs>